I encourage you to take these insights, reflect on them and apply them to your own journey. And don't forget, this is a journey. So this is not an end and done for all, but we are here together. Welcome back to another episode of Unexpectedly Successful, your host Griselda Martinez and also business coach helping aspiring professional women launch their businesses. And I am super excited about today's episode because we are going to cover a very crucial piece of the puzzle if you are considering business ownership, if you are seeking to ignite your entrepreneurial spirit. This episode, you cannot not listen to it because it will give you transformational information for you to define your next steps in your entrepreneurial journey. And I am talking about mindset. And when we talk about mindset, I want to start from the definition of what mindset is. So by definition in the dictionary, mindset is a mental inclination, a tendency or a habit. The definition sounds pretty simple, but when we get into the nitty gritty, you're going to see the importance into our day to day, into our practical world of what this means into our entrepreneurial journey. And so if you have experienced fear, doubt, or not believing is possible, all of this is related to mindset and we need to take control over that. Let me get into why this is important for aspiring entrepreneurs in particular. Without the right mindset, aspiring women entrepreneurs will limit the amount of steps that we take in terms of self-doubt, fear, hindering our ability to start our own businesses. And if we do start it, most likely we will limit the potential of those ventures based on the limits that we have in our mind. If you've experienced lack of confidence, you have struggled with decision making, and, or you find challenging to bounce back from setbacks, this is tied to mindset. So when we have the incorrect mindset, this leads to stagnation, reduced impact, and possibly never launching our potential businesses that we have in our vision. But this can be corrected because if, if anything that I have set up to this point are things that I have experienced in my own journey. I have thought of, is this even possible? Do I have what it takes? And let me tell you, yes, it is possible and you have what it takes. So having the right mindset allows us to redefine success on our own terms, enabling us to take the risks that we need to take in order to achieve those goals that we want to achieve. So to be an entrepreneur, we need to navigate this landscape with agility and to build impactful, innovative businesses that reflect our values and our vision. And this is so crucial because in a previous episode, I shared with you the lack of satisfaction that came to me as a result of having projects that were misaligned from my values and the vision of my business. And so that was a lesson learned. Yet cultivating a strong growth-oriented mindset is essential for overcoming these challenges. So to jump into business ownership, a mindset aligned to that growth mentality is required because we need to foster resilience, confidence, and creativity that is uniquely attached to our entrepreneurial journey. So are you ready? If you are ready, Please remember that I love to incite action. 
And so as I go through the steps, I am going to ask you to do and implement the actionable items that I have embedded in this conversation. So step number one, we need to complete a total life assessment. We need to discover what is your starting point? Where are you standing right now? And if you've gone to a large mall, for instance, you've seen these maps in which you see the stores around the mall, and then you see a red dot in somewhere in that map. And it says, you are here. And it is so crucial that you locate yourself from that point, you will be able to go to the different places that are available for you in this analogy of the mall. In life, it is the same thing. Before we go to our next step, before we go to our uh, accomplishing our next goal, we need to fully understand where we are. And not only where we are for our entrepreneurial journey as a potential business owner, but in every aspect of our lives. This is uh, relationships. This is emotional health. This is financial. This is um, where are you as an employee if you're currently employed? And it is not to criticize where you are, but to fully embrace that starting point and for you to fully recognize your current state. Are you able to fully embrace your emotions right this moment? Can you acknowledge your achievements and areas of growth? Have you done it recently or are you um, undermining your accomplishments in your career. And so defining where you are is about painting a clear picture of your life as it is today, setting the stage for transformation, assessing work, life, health, finances, relationships, business career, and then think, do I have a scarcity mindset or do I have an abundance mindset? And let's get into practice. Are you ready to put this into action? Right now, please score yourself from one to 10. 10 being the best that you can be and one being the farthest from where you want to be. And at the end of each week, please take 10 minutes and then assess what went well and what didn't go well in your week. And please make sure that the list of what went well is as long as the list of what didn't go well and that you need to work on. And as the next step is write down the three things that you are most grateful for during that week that you are assessing and one thing that you wish to improve. And I want to emphasize in this one thing, because when we are in a scarcity mindset, what we tend to do is we want to see all the things that are going wrong in our lives. And when we think about what went well, we have, we, we struggle, we, we challenge ourselves to even think about when things went right. But in order for us to take next steps, we must embrace those successes, whether they were huge or they were just a step towards the right direction. So the daily reflection will help us cultivate awareness and gratitude because gratitude will shift that mindset from scarcity to abundance and it will set the stage for intentional growth. So action items for you is 
to assess each of your areas from one to 10 and be honest with that. Number two is to uh, assess your week at the end of it, just taking 10 minutes to really know what went well and selecting one thing that you want to improve. And then being grateful for all the things that you were able to accomplish. Step number two, bringing big goals to life. So this is where it gets a little scary because visioning your future is super scary when we don't have the right mindset. And let me tell you an example. It is time to dream big and envision the future that you desire. When, I, when you hear these words, does it cause excitement or do they cause fear as you think of your future and thinking big and bold? I would challenge you to set ambitious goals with this powerful question. What would you do if you knew that you could not fail? And the first time I heard this question, it was posed to me and it just struck me and I had to pause to say, wow, what would I do differently if I knew that I could not fail at doing it? And out of that, so many amazing things for my future came about that I am working towards accomplishing. And it was just a powerful question that removed the limitations that I was putting before myself. And when I asked that question, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? Did you notice yourself starting to dream big and then stopping yourself because it sounded unrealistic? If you felt that, that is a sign of a mindset of scarcity versus a mindset of abundance, the one that we want to have. And so let's work on this abundance mindset. Are you ready to keep taking steps towards visioning your future? Yes? All right. This is a powerful exercise I'm gonna ask you to do. Can you visualize where you want to be in the next 12 months? Please take a moment to think, and if you have had uh, at hand paper and a pencil or a computer or a voice note, please describe what it looks like. What does it look like the next 12 months from now, thinking of this big and bold approach to your future? How do you feel about it? How does it sound? Where are you? What have you achieved in these 12 months? I wanna share this lovely story with you from one of my guests in the show. When she started her own business as a dog training expert, she needed to set a financial goal. That was one of her primary motivations to start her own business. And when she set that financial goal, she reversed engineer from that amount that she wanted to achieve in revenue by the number of dogs that she needed to train to get there. So when she reversed engineer, she concluded that to get to that initial goal, she only needed to train four dogs. And then she took her next step. Now, 30 years later, she's one of the best known dog trainers in the nation. Not only that, but she also sets the standards through best practices from her business and her nonprofit for dog training standards in the US. So she did not stop herself in those four dogs that were meeting her initial financial goal. Rather than that, she kept going with this bigger vision that she was able to see. And she took one goal and multiplied it. And over the years, she has been able to be so successful 
but her first step was to have an abundance mindset. She saw those four dogs possible to be trained. And then from there, it was just her next step and her next step. So for you right now, what are three actionable steps that you can take this month towards achieving your equivalent to those four dogs for my guests? I don't know what it is for you, but you do. And so I'm going to ask you to be super honest and super bold to set that one goal that will be the equivalent to those four dogs to the story that I told you. And I want to bring this quote because I believe it's so powerful and it will continue to help us think of the possibilities. And this is a quote for Eleanor Roosevelt. And it says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Are you believing in the beauty of your dreams? And are you owning your future? So that's step two. And step three is a very thought provoking part because I am going to challenge something that we may have heard in our society. Setting a new success barometer, defining your own metrics of success. In this step, it challenges us to redefine what success means to you, what success means to me. And I want to share this amazing story. A dear friend and business owner who I wanted to have as a guest speaker in my podcast, uh, I reached out to her and I said, hey, uh, I would love to invite you to be guest speaker in my podcast so you can share your own entrepreneur journey with my listeners. Her first reaction said, but I'm not yet a successful businesswoman. Okay, I'm gonna set the stage by saying that she has multiple businesses that she has currently, but also she has businesses that she has owned in the past. And so that is the context that I knew when I approached her with this request. So my follow-up question was, are you not earning revenue or are profitable right now in your current business? Which I thought might have been the reason of her response. And then she answered, no, we are generating revenue and we are profitable, but I'm not there yet where I want to be. So as I have mentioned before, I love the word challenge because it makes us pause for a moment and think of where we are back to our step number one, right? Why are we saying what we're saying? And so as we continue this conversation, I told her, think about it and let me know if you feel comfortable sharing your entrepreneur journey. At this point, she had already become aware of that limiting belief and that limiting mindset that she was coming from as we, as she was considering this opportunity. So she had already shifted her mindset from scarcity to abundance. And she responded, I am ready. Let's do it. So during our interview, I, of course, I was not going to let go of that moment of uh, lessons learned, right? And, and shifting of a mindset that it was so powerful for me to experience just through this conversation with her. And so I asked her during the interview, I said, what do you think that you are a successful businesswoman? And she said, yes, with a very assertive answer. And the follow-up question to that was, what does success mean to you? And so she started elaborating about success being a little different than what she considered success in her early career, but that success was having a multi-generation uh, family owned business that brought purpose to each one of those family members and that had a huge impact in the community. And then all these big dreams and, and vision that they have for the future. And so when she was telling me, she said, success looks very different from what I thought before, but I am indeed a successful businesswoman. 
And so the lesson from my perspective here was that she was allowing herself to craft her own definition of success versus that one that was predetermined by her perception of what she needed to do as a successful businesswoman. So for each one of us, it is so easy to get caught in this societal definition of success, but we know that true fulfillment only comes from setting and achieving the goals that resonate with our values and aspiration. How to measure our own success, focusing on progress, personal satisfaction, and most importantly, the impact that we have in the world around us. This allows us to shift from demands towards ourselves to a, an approach of self-compassion, gratitude, and acknowledging that each one of us has a very unique journey to achieving our own success. So let's redefine success together, making it personal and deeply fulfilling. Because otherwise, why are we here if it's not deeply fulfilling? Okay, so the question, the provoking question for you to consider right now is, think about a time where you felt truly successful, not by the standards of the, those around you or the, the society that you've heard before, but what really made you feel successful. Out of the whole process, out of that moment and, and situation, what made you feel that way? Can you recognize it and pinpoint it? Can you create your own success metric that aligns with your values? And if you are seeking clarity in defining your own values, please go to the description to download your own free workbook to help you with that. So in summary, the three steps that we are covering today for us to have the right mindset to become female entrepreneurs is number one, total life assessment, discovering where is our starting point? Where are we right this moment in our lives? Can you give yourself scores for each part of your life? Are you in a one? Are you in a five? Are you in an eight? Are you in a 10? And then how are, is that reflected in your mindset? Is it a scarcity mindset or is it an abundance? Do you think of the options that are possible or do you think for all the reasons that this will not work out? So this is step number one. Step number two is bringing big goals to your life by envisioning your future. What are the goals that you want to accomplish in the next 12 months? And most importantly, what are the three actionable items for you to get going towards those goals? And lastly, what do you want to turn back and celebrate and feel proud of yourself because of what you've accomplished? And congratulate yourself and say, I did it. 12 months ago, this was a dream and I'm seeing it as a reality right in front of me. And step number three, setting a new success metric system for yourself. What is really success for you? Not what somebody told you that it is, but your own. The definition that aligns to your long-term vision and your core values that results in life satisfaction in fulfillment. As we wrap up today's episode, talking about the mindset that you need for you to launch your own business with these three steps, I hope that you are walking away with a renewed sense of purpose and a clearer vision for your entrepreneur journey. We've covered a lot of ground today and those questions and exercises I know are not easy to do, but I am gonna invite you and encourage you to really sit down and go through them because you are going to see the transformation that comes from those moments of reflection. These steps are not just designed for you to be inspired, but to really prompt action and reflection on your own path to business ownership. 
that's why I am here because I want you to take action towards that reality that it's possible for you. Remember, the journey of entrepreneurship is as much personal growth as it is business success. By embracing a growth-oriented mindset, focusing on abundance, and setting your own success metrics, you are laying the solid foundation for an impactful, innovative business that you, yes, I'm gonna say you, are destined to build. I encourage you to take these insights, reflect on them, and apply them to your own journey. And don't forget, this is a journey. So this is not an end and done for all, but we are here together. And so if today's episode has sparked something in you, I love to hear about it. Please post it on the comments and share your thoughts, your progress, your questions. Remember, your story could be that inspiration that somebody else needs to take their leap into entrepreneurship. So please share your experience here with us as you go through this episode. And if you found value in today's episodes, please share it with somebody who could benefit from it. Like, subscribe to our podcast for more episodes so you are not missing on any new material and content that we release. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, the right mindset is the first step towards launching your business and transforming your dreams into reality. Mindset is about what we see possible. Stay tuned for the next part of this series because I am gonna continue digging through the next steps to accomplish an abundance mindset and becoming a successful business owner. Until then, keep embracing your journey, keep dreaming big, and let's make those dreams a tangible reality. More to come in the next episode. This is Griselda Martinez, your business coach with Unexpectedly Successful. 